Anthonites, have you ever wondered what it's like to be an outsider? What it's like to be a foreigner in another land? Yeah, me too! But today I thought I would give you a look into what it's like to go to the Bureau of Immigration here in the Philippines. Next clip. So I am here at the Bureau of Immigration and I'm in the middle of traffic, I think. <laughs> it's always a little bit hard to tell when there are parked cars and when there's traffic. Uh, kidding, of course. Anyways, so uh, I am here and I wanted to give you a look around. This is at the Intramuros branch, or the branch near Intramuros. And it's that big green-ish building in front of us. Yeah, there are vendors off to the sides, as you can see, right over here. And yeah, so let's go take a look at the building itself. Next clip. Tonight, here's something kind of interesting. Apparently, they don't allow you to wear open <laughs> shoes here at immigration. So they turned me away at the door and said I had to go buy a pair of shoes. I don't understand that. So uh, I ended up kind of renting a pair of shoes for a hundred peso that don't fit. This is the silliest thing, but maybe there's a really good reason. I don't know. Next clip. So we are inside immigration now, and they did let me in, even though my rubber shoes that I rented uh, don't, don't fit, as you can see. Um, and, but that's okay. Um, we got some paperwork filled out, and uh, I'm actually waiting now. My number is 111, and they're on like number 70 now, so I got some time to kill. Figured I would show you. Ooh, look at that. Got all kinds of dining options here at the canteen. Also, there's a photocopy thing over here. That's kind of cool. Oh, shomai. I love shomai. And they've got a secondary canteen area here. Ah, for burgers and all kinds of goodies. Cool. Next clip. So today just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Apparently because of a computer glitch or uh, some kind of limitation, I can't get my passport back today. Um, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, so I have to come back tomorrow. Uh, it's also like I don't want to go inside and do a bunch of filming right now because I'm in a situation where very possibly if I accidentally offend someone or something like that I may how do I say I may accidentally cost myself the visa extension which I need uh, so maybe tomorrow once I have my passport back in my hand I'll be a little bit more uh, adventurous and like filming inside and things like that so yeah now i just gotta get a cab ride or an, a, an uber ride back to eastwood that's gonna be difficult because look at this look at all this craziness there's cars everywhere next clip while we are here at immigration um a couple of things that i suggest if you ever find yourself at the immigration bureau uh, by intermuros I suggest everybody kind of check out. First, there's this extremely old building that has a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know, it just is very reminiscent of the uh, Spanish colonization era. Um, but it's also sort of like it's been, I'm, not, I'm looking for the right word. I don't want to say let go because that's probably not the right word, but, um, you know, it's it's uh, sort of been let uh, go through its natural natural processes. Like this year, look at this. We got all of this craziness. And the cool thing is, that's actually a gate. There's a, a gate and a door back there. Um, I've been here before and actually seen like bikes 
and stuff parked in like behind that particular gate. Sometimes you can see like inside and I don't know like just walking around kind of seeing like the glimpses of the inside like it just reminds me of like Laura Croft Tomb Raider. Um, also it also reminds me of you know kind of the different eras that the Philippines has been through um, and also kind of where it is now and where it could be in the future so I don't know that's kind of cool also you know if you're not like you know the history type and you're just kind of hungry there's also right around the corner uh, there's a Jollibee so that's another thing you should probably check out if you're hungry there's a Jollibee right around the corner all right cool see now this is kind of what I'm talking about look how cool that looks in there of course I don't know I think it's cool but it's also a little bit scary like I wouldn't want to be in there I'd be scared that I'd like I don't know fall through something or something like that but it sure is pretty to look at Next clip. Since I can't get my uh, passport back till tomorrow, I have stopped here at Jollibee, just like I recommended that you do. And I'm gonna miss Cersei when I have to leave the Philippines. Oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah, I got myself a Champ burger and a Cersei and some fries. Cool. Next clip. And tonight we are back here at immigration. Uh, I have to go pick up my passport and whatnot, so let's uh, see how long this is gonna take. Oh, by the way, I made a point to wear real shoes today. Would you look at that? Anyway, next clip. Okay, all right, so I am so confused. Uh, so that was super anticlimactic. I just walked up to the window and I was all like, I am Anthony Smith, don't know how this works. And the guy's like, uh, wait for your name to be on the screen. And I think that's what he said. And I'm like, huh? And he checks my, my papers again. And he's like, oh, wait a minute. And he just kind of hands me my passport back. I'm like, cool beans and all, but I'm still like super confused because I'm walking around today and I see tons and tons of people in like, you know, flip flops and other miscellaneous shoes that I was told yesterday could not be worn inside. And I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, next clip. Okay, I feel super silly because I have walked past this almost every, well, probably every time I've gone to immigration because it's in between immigration and Jollibee and I have not the slightest clue what this is. It's beautiful. It's really cool. There's also a, uh, a guy in a chair over there. That's, that's also awesome. But I'm curious, if you know anything about this, let me know. Ah. Oh, here we go. Philippine Mexican Marker Plaza. Ah. Let's see what the other side looks like. That's pretty cool. So apparently the quote unquote guy in a chair was Adolfo Lopez Mateos the president of Mexico for quite some time there and then there I guess that's him and I think he's is that a flower in his hand yes yeah, somebody has put a flower in his hand that's kind of cool he's got really big fingers look at that look at that giant finger much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog?